in my late 20s, I'm 31, and it's just, <laughs> it's going great. I, uh, that's a woman's age, like I am a woman, but I don't feel like one most of the time. I'm still feeling like a girl a lot of times, like I'm still relating to Taylor Swift songs on a level I definitely shouldn't, you know? <laughs> but like my back hurts a lot, so I'm like, oh. <laughs> that's right, I can't shake it off. Like I wish, <laughs> I wish I could. I'm on Snapchat, you know? But like a Google Bunion surgery every day, so. <sighs> Looking into that. It's weird, like I feel confident most of the time, but there are times where I'm like, huh. Like the other day I got jealous of a dog's thigh gap. I'm not proud of that. <laughs> just like, how does she do it? <sighs> I have to switch to kibble, I'm just gotta do it. Bitch, but. I'm just like not where I should be, I feel, as a 31-year-old. I don't want a lot of things that uh, girls my age want. I don't want kids. I do want a baby, though, so it's like, ugh, you know? Because that's, <laughs> they become that, and so. Yeah, I do want a baby, but like, I feel like most women want babies, and that's maybe why so many of us exist, because babies are so cute. Everyone wants one. They're like the puppies of humans, I've heard. Um, I think a scientist said that once. And you know, it's like, and that's how you hear women say when they're gonna have kids. They're like, oh, we're trying for a baby. Oh, we're gonna have a baby. We just had a baby, baby. And it's like, yeah, I know, but like, eventually it's just gonna be some dude named Doug. You know that, right? Like, it's just gonna be a guy. Like, it's always baby, but it's like, it's a baby this much of the time you know it, and then it's all Doug. Like, it's just a, you, no one's ever like, oh, we're having a man. <laughs> That's what you should say. Yeah, I don't want a Doug, I don't, um, I'm not, I mean, I babysat for years, because this family just never came home, but, <sighs> That was difficult, it's hard. <laughs> Babysitting is hard, it's like, ugh. Cause it's like you're a mother, but you don't love them. So it's like hard to care. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no. I, uh, yeah, I just feel like I'm past my prime to have kids a little bit. Like I feel like I should have done it in my teens. Like that would have been the best time. It's like they discourage it almost exclusively, but they shouldn't. Like, if I had a baby now, like, my parents couldn't help me and all. They live in St. Louis, I'm in LA. Like, it would be too hard, but if, I, if you're in high school and you have a kid, like, you live with your mom and dad, or probably just your mom, let's be honest. Um, yeah, your dad probably split a while ago, but your mom's there, you know. <laughs> She's hanging out, uh, vaping, watching Dr. Phil, something like that. Like, I feel like that's how she busies herself. She can help, she can, she, you can just hand the baby to her and be like, here mom, try again, he's yours now. <laughs> yeah, you kind of fucked up the first time since that's mine and I can't drive, so. Yeah, his name's Mulligan. I really feel like you can nail it this time if you just like focus and stop playing the lottery. Um, I'd have it over with too. If I had a baby when I was like 15, she'd be 16 now. Probably have a granddaughter on the way. Like that would be perfect for me. I could handle life as a Nana, you know? That's what I call my grandma, because when I was little, I couldn't pronounce old bitch. So that's what I came up with, and that's... No. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't want kids yet. I don't want to get married. It helps that my boyfriend doesn't want to marry me, so that's like, <laughs> that's convenient. Uh, for a while, he was like, I don't want to get married until gay people can get married. And I was like, they can! He was like, yeah, I never thought that would happen, so. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought that was weird. You were protesting all those times, so. <laughs> he doesn't want to get married. I don't really care. I don't need like a big reception. I don't want a whole to do. I never want to have to slow dance with my dad in front of all of my friends. <laughs> like that seems like that's something we do alone together and I don't want to ruin that. Like I feel, you know, thank you, yeah. 
And like, what if the band doesn't know Genuine's Pony? Are we supposed to just like freestyle to whatever they come up with? That seems humiliating, you know? Uh-uh. I also don't like the fact that when you get married as a woman, you just kind of give up your last name. Like you really, it's nice to take your husband's name, but then you're like, oh, this thing I've had my whole life, that's my whole identity that my great grandparents came through Ellis Island with, I'll just throw it in the trash. This guy seems cool, bye. Like that's, <laughs> what? You really like, no, your name is nothing after you get married. All it is is like your shithead son's bank account security question answer. That's all your name is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Only time it comes up, yeah. And he's gotta call you because he doesn't even know it. Like, <laughs> that's the one call you get from him a month. Mom, I'm locked out of my account again. Hey, what's your old name? <laughs> he calls it an old name. You're like, you mean my maiden name? He's like, whatever. Uh, Jones, he's like, can you spell it? And you're like, fucking dog. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why couldn't you stay a baby? <laughs> that is weird that that's the question that they came up with. Like the banks were like, what worthless piece of information could we ask for that no one would ever know about this man to protect his finances? And some guy's like, what about his mother's name? And they're like, perfect, who gives a shit, right? <laughs> his mother's name. <laughs> That's the question. That, so it's that, that seems like something people should know about you, but it's that question and then uh, uh, your first concert. So it's your name and then your son's first concert or just your name and Limp Bizkit are just fighting for the top spot. So rude. Your name really just, you're just like, I don't really see it anymore. Sometimes women get divorced, but they keep their ex-husband's last names because they're just like, I just don't want to go to the DMV. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Like, I'll just live with this man's name I hate because I don't want to wait in line. Like, I get it. Because <laughs> your name disappears. That's why I want to marry someone with my same last name, save the trouble, not a cousin because they're poor, but like a, um, <laughs> like a, like another Glazer. I could find one. And, uh, but if we had kids, I would still make my kids hyphenate their names just to be a dick about it. I don't know. I, like, they'd be like, Mom, why are we Glazer Glazer? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, I want you to sound like tiny little law firms, okay? That's, that's why. This is my son, Cooper Glazer Glazer, and associates, his sister associates. Uh, but we've been together, my boyfriend and I, we've been together like three years. We've broken up like three times, but we always get back together, so we're gonna make it. And that's like really promising. Uh, no, it is. It's been good. It's, uh, he broke up with me once because he kind of like found out I was lying about who I was in the beginning of our relationship to kind of trap him into one. I was like, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to do that. Like, <laughs> but what if I don't like me? Uh, <laughs> I really was like pretending to be this, this version of a girl that he would fall in love with. You know, I was just walking around like, what would Khaleesi do? Like, I just, I didn't know what, I was like, he likes that show, I think, you know? So I just like walked around topless, got a bunch of lizards. I, I didn't think it through, but. I hit a couple things. I wasn't lying about who I was. I kind of put, I feel like I put Spanx on my personality. Like I was just like <laughs> tucking some things in, you know? There's just like, I don't know, like, He's a lot cleaner than I am. We were getting ready for bed once, and you know when you're like first, like hanging out with someone, you start sleeping over and your hygiene habits kind of meet up and yours are just like not really up to snuff. <laughs> but you just like fake it, you're just like, I always brush them this long, that's cool, yeah. <laughs> oh, you get the bottoms, that's neat, I'll try that, all right. Uh, and then my arm is going numb, he's still going. I'm just like, cool, we're still doing this? <laughs> I get through that, I'm like headed out of the bathroom. He's like, you got a floss? And I was like, do you got a floss? What am I doing? Okay, here we go. And I'm just like, eh, just gushing blood. Just like, ah. what happens with it? <laughs> this never happens. I must've hit something. This is weird. This is first time. Both ends are on our period. Is that not right? Okay. Uh, don't, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, he's, uh, we've been taking uh, showers together recently, which is like, mm -mm, cause I just think he like wants me to shower more. So that's cool. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Like, 
He's like, let's get in. I'm like, woo. He's just like scrubbing my back a little too much. I'm like, what are you doing? And I was like, do you want a blowjob? He's like, let's get your feet first. I'm like, okay. All right. I was like, do you have like a foot fetish? He's like, no, you have a foot fungus and you should get this looked at. It's of concern. I'm like, it doesn't scrub off. <laughs> but he's like a clean freak. You can't compete with that. Like he takes up to three showers a week and it's like, we get it, Dr. Oz. Like, ugh. But it's been good. Uh, I broke up with him the first time because uh, we were a year into our relationship and he would not say, I love you. And a year in. And I needed to hear it because my friends told me I did. So that's when you know. <laughs> that's really when you know. Because I was like trying to be cool about it. Like, because friends talk about that. You know, we're just like, did he say I love you? When's he gonna say it? And like, I didn't have anything to tell them. I was just I was trying to play it cool. I was like, I don't need to hear it. You know, I just, I know he does. Like the way he like high fives me after sex. Like there's no question. Like you wouldn't just do that. And they're like, okay, well, well, does he, he, does he talk about the future at all? And I was like, yeah, you know, like flying cars, robots, like climate change, we're all worried. So he's no different, you know, <sighs> but they were so mad. And so I, I went back to it, I was furious too. Cause that's the thing, if your girlfriend breaks up with you out of the blue, from like, when you're like, where did this come from? It's probably cause her friends got together and decided that they miss her and they want her back, so. <laughs> They fill her head with lies and then <laughs> send her back to you. I was just like, ah! Like, cause I was so mad. I was just like, why don't you love me? You know, like in a super lovable tone and <laughs> just like crying in the street. And he just didn't want to say it. He, he was sweet about it cause he was very calm. And it was just like, he's honest, you know? He was just like, I can't, I can't say it. And I was like, okay, well let's find a good speech therapist. Like, let's get you in a program. Like. Honestly, I thought this was feelings for you, but clearly it's phonics. So this is like such a relief. <laughs> he really, he, this is what he did say. He was like, he's like, I can't say I love you. I was like, you just did. I'll take it. Thank you so much. You can stop right there. That counts. But <laughs> I, I've only had really two serious boyfriends in my life. And the, the first one definitely uh, did not say it on his own. He, um, he was a blackout drunk with a twin bed and um, that, Second part's not really that important. I just kind of want to paint a picture. Um, he had a twin bed. He was 30 with a twin bed. And I would be like, can you upgrade to a full so I feel like a woman? And um, that's all it takes, you know? And, and he was like, no, it's an extra long twin. I was like, ooh, a California twin. Wow, am I Rihanna? Jesus. So he, uh, he would get blackout drunk all the time. We were long distance. He would, make, he would get caught making out with girls in bars back home where I was from. My friends would see him. They'd call me, tell me about it. I'd call him the next day and be like, what the fuck? And he was like, I thought it was you. And I was like, aw. Like I was flattered. Like, was she skinny? Like, ugh. So he was the worst. He came to visit me for Valentine's Day. And I was like, oh my God, he's so gonna say, I love you, this is the trip. And I got ready, I told all my friends, I'm like, this is it. And it was a great night. Like we went to this fancy dinner that I paid for. And then we were like in this alley and like I was rubbing his back as he vomited. And it was just like everything I'd wanted. And he just got really sick and passed out. And I was like, oh my God. Like he didn't say I love you. I think he may have said I hate you. It's like, it was the worst time. But I was like, wait a second, when he gets blackout drunk, he doesn't remember anything he does or says. So I'll just make last night whatever I want it to be. So this is true, I, swear to God, I woke him up the next morning and I was like, hey, do you remember what you said to me last night? He was like, no, I'm sorry, what? And I was like, no, you told me you love me. <laughs> and he was like, I did? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he started saying it after that. That's. I date raped my boyfriend into loving me. That's what I did. Thank you so much. I took back the night. <laughs> so, I, uh, it was like a pretty good plan. I couldn't use it though with my boyfriend now because he doesn't drink. So I was like, what am I gonna do? So this is how I got, <laughs> how am I gonna get it? And, uh, this is how I got it. I, I decided to ask him to say, I love you uh, as he was coming, which is a great time. Uh, that's a per, that, like a guy will do anything for you in that moment. You just gotta time it perfectly. I was just like, tell me you love you. He's like, I love you. Like, it was just like, I got it. You know, just the once, but I got it, you know, so. 
<laughs> it was pretty cool. And, uh, cause I thought about it, I was like, oh my God, guys are so vulnerable in that moment. They will do anything right before they come up until they come. Like he, I feel like my boyfriend would like take a bullet to the brain for me. He would jump in front of a train for me. He would do anything in a Bruno Mars song pretty much is what I'm saying. <laughs> Like, definitely. I feel like Bruno Mars must write all his lyrics before he comes. Like, that's the only way he feels those things. <laughs> and then it is a sharp drop off after that. Right after it comes, I feel like he's, in one second he'd do anything for me, and then he's like, Whoa! and then it's just like, I feel like he's like, what have I done? Like, he just, he <laughs> He wants to pretend it didn't happen. We can't really talk about it. I'm like, tell me about my clip. He's just like, no, like he doesn't. I want to talk. He's off getting a towel. I'm like, you can let it marinate. I don't care. Like, this is fine. He's like dabbing me off. I'm like, are we having company? Like, what's the rush? I'm like, you know this was consensual, right? What are you doing? He's so ashamed. He tries to close me like a laptop. I'm like, I'm a real woman with feelings and thoughts and a career. You can't do this. I think it's porn. I think that's what makes guys so ashamed after they come sometimes. Because they're used to just watching disgusting things and they're like, whoa, that didn't happen. <laughs> but it did. You did it. And it's like, I, I get it. Like, I, I don't mind that guys watch porn. I ever, they all watch it. And, um, I don't, I don't care that my boyfriend watches porn. Like, I'm on the road a lot, so sometimes I'll ask him to send me the porn he's about to jerk off to, and then I'll sit there and watch it, like, just knowing that he's jerking off to it. Like, I think it's, like, romantic, because I'm, like, somewhere out there. <laughs> like, we're looking at the same moon, you know? <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, kind of. <laughs> I'm, I'm not like totally like, I don't love porn. I watch it sometimes mainly for tips. Like I'm always looking for like new tricks I can try, you know? Especially when it comes to blowjobs, I'm always like, I feel like I'm not very good at them. So I'm always like, I'll check out a blowjob video on like the front page, like something very mild. I'll be like, okay, this seems cool. And I'll just take some notes. Like what are these gals gagging about? And just like, hmm. And you learn some things. You're like, oh, okay, use both hands. I can do that. That seems cool, all right. Look terrified. All right, I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, you know? It's <laughs> be fun to revisit. Okay. Choke to death. Perfect. Okay. That's how I'm gonna go then. Like, it's like violent stuff on the front page. You don't even have to dig for the stuff. Every porno is just like, oh, oh, it's like a girl just like dying. When did this happen? I feel like I took a break from porn and then it's all just slobber now. It's like, these girls have so much saliva and I'm like, I don't have that much. Like, it's making me insecure. I'm like, these bitches look like St. Bernard's. Like, I don't have this like frothy, foamy strands. I'm like, do I need an extra gland or something? Like what? Uh -huh. I gotta be wet up here now? Like, it's just too much. I hate the way porn has made me feel throughout my life. I started watching porn when it first came out in 98, and uh, it made me feel sad. Then I hadn't even kissed a boy, and I was like, I have to do that. Like, and then I didn't watch it forever. And then I, I checked back in on it when I like, started being interested in like, having sex. I was like, maybe I'll try it. And then I was watching it, and I saw porn vaginas, and I was like, mine doesn't look like that. Have you seen porn vaginas? They're just like these tiny little, it's like God's little whisper. It's just like a little <laughs> suggestion. It's, it literally is. Sometimes I'm like, does that girl just have a paper cut down there? Like, is that, <laughs> looks like it would hurt. Like, it's just these tiny, I haven't looked like that since I was seven, to be honest. Like, I remember, I didn't know those were my glory days. <laughs> I should have just stared at it more and been like, you got it, girl. Like, that would have been amazing. <laughs> I squandered my youth. <laughs> but yeah, those porn vaginas made me so sad about my own because, man, my vagina doesn't look like that. And I hated it for a while. I just, I was like so furious. Every time I looked at it, I wanted to punch it. I was just like, ugh. And it looked like it had been punched several times. So that's what's <laughs> weird about that. I was like, why make it worse? Sometimes I see it and I'm just like, were you in a street fight earlier? Like, it just is like picking gravel out. Oh my God. But, 
Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, you, some of you have vaginas like mine, like where you're just like, uh, like it looks like it's trying to escape, kind of like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Don't be ashamed, I have it too. It's like, it's some, you could ask me how's it hanging some days and that's fine, that's, that's my body. <laughs> You, you go to get a wax and she has to go through it like a Rolodex. Okay, let's go. No one? Just me? Great. Great. Feeling great about my body again. Thanks so much. But yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not bothered by porn as much anymore. My boyfriend got me into porn, uh, the industry. It's been pretty lucrative. It's, uh, I'm just dipping my toe in, you know. Just, that's what I do. I dip my toe in girls' vaginas. That's um, it's very niche. Very niche. I, I, we've been watching porn together a little bit and uh, cause we finished Friday Night Lights. So that's what, <laughs> that's what Netflix wanted for us. And uh, so we've been watching porn together and he's, he wants to watch what I want to watch. So he's like, what are you into? And I'm like, well, if it were up to me, we would watch a TMZ clip of Zac Efron getting out of a car. Like that's <laughs> what treats mommy right. You know, like <laughs> that's fine for me. But in terms of porn, like I just, there's nothing, there's been a couple videos that I'm like, ah, oh, I like that, but I always stumble into them. I wouldn't know how to search for it. It's too weird that what I, I don't even know how to describe what I like. He was like, try me, like, I'll find it. Cause apparently he's like the Edward Snowden of porn. Like he can just hack into it, like find anything. But he was like, describe it. Come on, I'll find it. And I was like, okay. Uh, of the porn I've seen, the, the ones I like are like the videos where the girl, she isn't really quite into it at first, you know? She's a little bit like, I don't know, you know? But then she like gets into it. But like at first she's just like a little reluctant. And he was like, oh yeah, reluctant porn. He starts typing in reluctant. <laughs> like, what are you doing? He's like, reluctant porn. I'm like, that's not a type. He's like, yeah, it is. And it is, oh, it is. It is, it, there's so much reluctant porn with reluctant in the titles. I mean, it's just like hot, reluctant sluts. And I'm just like, <laughs> One of those words is not like the other porn. Like that doesn't, that one. Where did you learn that word? Have you been attending night school? Like what? Reluctant, it's very hot. You should look it up. It's uh, if you want, if you don't want to, if you're a little reluctant to do so, I do, uh, I do a pretty sick impression of reluctant porn. So here we go. So this is all reluctant porn, ready? No, okay, like that's it, that's. That is it. <laughs> yes, slight hesitation, full commitment, yes. <laughs> I've learned a lot from porn, uh, dirty talk wise, not like physically, I just, my MO is I kinda just lay there, like I'm a bottom, you know, like I just, and I'm enjoying myself, I don't wanna change, like I like being on bottom, I'm, I'm not a dead fish, I just, I hate when guys, call me that. I think that's rude. <laughs> dead fish. I've had a dead fish. I'm like, what? No, no, no. I'm like a fish on its way out. Like that's, <laughs> I'll give you that. Like I'm not doing great, but like <laughs> dead. Maybe someone just needs to clean my tank, you know, like that's, <laughs> that's what I call going down on me. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's really disgusting. Please tonight, if you get gone down on, like just say to yourself, just for me, just go like, yeah, you clean that fucking tank. Just like for me, <laughs> it just, it'll make you feel good, I know. I feel like I'll feel it, you know? Like my ear will tingle, I'm like, yeah, girl's getting her tank clean. Clean it, clean it. <laughs> I love that. So I, I, if you're lazy in bed like I am, you kind of got to bring it when it comes to uh, dirty talk because I'm rarely like on top doing things that are impressive. If I'm ever on top, I always do reverse cowgirl because you can pretend his legs are Zac Efron's a lot easier than his <laughs> dumb, stupid head. So, but if you're on bottom, just chill and say some good stuff. Like I, now I, I have lines to say. Before I did it, I would just be put on the spot and I couldn't think of anything. He'd be like, what do you want? And I'd be like, to check my phone. I mean, to... <laughs> check your dick and he's like what I'm like for crabs I don't know okay I'm sorry <laughs> so go in with a plan and that's where porn comes in you watch porn you steal the line from that and you use it and I steal from Sasha Gray she's my favorite uh, porn actress she's awesome she's so like poetically filthy and I stole one of her like mild lines from one of her Disney porns and um, <laughs> 
the line was, I, uh, oh, you own this pussy. I was like, that's great, I'll use that, you know? I've been looking to sell this thing off for a while anyway, so please, someone take it. So <laughs> I said that, I decided to say that, so we're doing it, and I'm like gearing up, and I was just like, he's back there, and uh, <laughs> so set the scene, he was back there, and I, and I, uh, and by the way, I was not even doing doggy style, like, that's, even for me, I'm like, I don't want to plank right now, like, can we not? <laughs> I'm always like, can we turn doggy into walrus? Can we like make this a little bit more comfy for old glazed dog? Like I just I'm like I don't want I don't want to engage my core right now. If that's cool, thanks. So he's doing it. I'm walrusing, and he uh, things are going great. And out of nowhere, I was just like, you own this pussy. And he was like, what? And I was like, you hurt me. And he was like, okay. And he's like <laughs> nervous. Cause it was, he's like a first time pussy owner. Like I think he had just rented before. I apparently, it can be nerve wracking, you know? So he was like, oh, and I was excited. I was like, ah, and to be honest, I really thought that I would say you own this pussy. And he would just like immediately finish. Like he would just be like, oh, I love you. I love but it didn't happen that way. He like needed a lot more from me. Like that was, it was hot, but he like needed me to say more things and, uh, and I didn't have anything else to say. That's all I had written on my hand. So I was just kind of like, you and this pussy. So I just started repeating myself, which works at first. You know, you're like, you own this pussy. He's like, yeah, I do. You own this pussy. Yeah, I do. You own this pussy. Okay. Uh, pretty aware of that by now. Care to expound on the situation whatsoever? And I was, I had not, so I'm just like, uh, it's an escrow. We just, <laughs> we just put it in, S. I don't know what that means. I'm just grasping at loose real estate terminology. There's a spacious Eden kitchen. If you just contact Janet Russo to set up a showing, 917-425. He's like, are you giving me my aunt's number? I'm like, I don't know. This is the only real estate agent I know. I'm like, check out the mud room. It's right above you if you so dare. Come on, please. No. <laughs> Anal. Uh, <laughs> Anal. <laughs> oh, God. Do you guys do it? I do. Uh, I love it. Um, I don't, I mean, it's fine. It's good. You should try it. It's, uh, and I always feel weird saying that I've done it because people, I just feel like, mm, we didn't need to know that. Or they're like, I would never do that. But here's the thing. I've done research. 33% of women have done it. So like all of these girls, that just like crazy. Cause I wouldn't think you've done it, but you have, these are facts. So that's like so weird, mom. It's like just knowing that you've done that. <laughs> My boyfriend bought me a sex swing. Uh, I did not ask for one. He surprised me with it. I got back from the road and he like walked me in the bedroom and was like, surprise. And I was like, are you living with a handicapped woman that needs to get in and out of bed? Like it's, it's a big apparatus with all these straps. I mean, it, it really looks like how they fed the velociraptors in Jurassic Park. Like when they lower the cows down and then they come back up and just like swinging straps. You guys know. That's a sex swing, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's really, f it's fun, it's great. I, uh, I know why he got it, because he's like tired of doing all the work, because I just lay there, so he's like, because I just like plop in this thing, and then he just taps it once, and then you're just like fucking forever. Like it's just perpetual motion after that. It's like the bird dipping in water of sex. It's just like, <laughs> like, you'll just fuck forever until a scientist comes and stops you. I don't know why that has to happen. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty fun. I found the box and he hadn't like opened the whole box because on the box it said free blindfold inside. And I was like, yes, a sleep mask. You know, like I love sleep masks. I, I love, I wear them on planes. I need them. I'm, I'm a connoisseur. I leave them on planes all the time though. And so this one I've been wearing, it's so good. It's the best one I've ever had, this sex swing blindfold. Uh, so it blocks out all the light. It, it does say come slut on it, but I'm like, that's who I am. So, you know. Far be it from me to deny Southwest that information, you know? <laughs> it is weird when we land and I wake up and I'm like, I hope that's droll. Like, I really, I hope it's droll. Please be droll. <laughs> I've said that so many times in my life. Please be droll. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a weird thing to say. 
I am like obsessed with talking about sex. I apologize if it's not your thing, but like, come on, it's like so fun. And uh, like, we're all having sex, but we don't really like talk about it. Like, we'll be like, oh yeah, I've had sex before. Like, we'll admit that, but we won't be like, oh yeah, I've been like, Ugh. but that's like what you look like. No one admits that. They're like, no, I look cooler. No, you don't. You're just like, Ugh. like that's just a bunch of like skin, like shaking. It's so gross. And you all look like it. We all do. But like, the only thing that like differentiates us is like we put on clothes and we're like, nope, I've never done that. What's going? Like, as soon as you're not naked, you can be like, no, I don't do that. What are you talking about? I'm a princess. Like that's what's separating us is just clothes. Like you can give like a sloppy blowjob and put on like some jeans and a tank top and be like, I've never sucked a dick in my life. What are you talking about? <laughs> nope, not me. And it's like, yes, you have. If you weren't a tank top, male or female, you've sucked some dicks. Like that's just a fact of tank tops, I think. Yeah. Pregnant women are my favorite because you're like, I know you doing it. Like, <laughs> hey, you got stuffed. You got stuffed. Like, you know it. And, uh, and then you, oh, you can find out like exactly when she had sex. Like, all you have to do is ask, like, when are you due or pretend you care or whatever. And then <laughs> you just do some light math and you count back nine months and you're like, July. You were just like, oh, oh, oh. Like, in July, you were getting it. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, I love that. That's the thing about being pregnant. Like, you, if you tell your parents you're pregnant, like, you're pretty much like, Dad, Chris came inside me. Come here. <laughs> I kept it in. <laughs> like, that's... <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. <sighs> I don't like how women are marketed to, feminine wipes. Feminine wipes are these things we're supposed to carry around because they're like, hey, uh, your vagina smells like it's supposed to and it's grossing everyone out. Can you fix it, please? Thank you. And we're like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry to ruin the party. People are buying these. I don't know anyone who does, but I just don't understand why those exist, yet ball wipes were like, no, that's cool, we don't need them. <laughs> I, I don't want balls to smell different, but it's just like, we should be equally shamed, you know? Like, a fun portable ball wipe, like why can't that be a thing? I don't, this is the thing, I don't want your balls to smell good. I like the, I don't like like the way they smell, but I'm like, I'm not like, mmm. Like, I don't want it like wafting through my foyer, but like, <laughs> I'm not dragging my boyfriend into Yankee Candle. Like, can you guys match this scent? Is there a way? with like a touch of taint, like just like a... Cool, okay, I'll leave you here. I'll be a piercing pagoda, bye. Like, no. <laughs> I don't like, I don't enjoy the scent, the aroma, but I like that balls smell exactly how they look. Like that's, <laughs> there's something cool about that. They're just so authentic. And so they shouldn't smell good. You shouldn't put anything on them because we know that things are supposed to look how they smell. We all know that from Febreze commercials. You know where a person, they set a person in a hoarder's apartment and they blindfold them. And they're like, where am I? Am I in a whispering meadow? What's happening? And there's like a rat crawling behind them in some trash. And they're like, what's that? Is that a bobbling brook? What's going on back there? Then they take it off, they're like, ah! like It psychologically fucks you up. Don't Febreze your balls. Like, there's no amount of smell. I'm not gonna close my eyes when I'm down there and be like, am I in an Arabian spice market tonight? Like, no. <laughs> I know where I am. <laughs> your dick is in my eye. Like, that's, I don't really know why. <laughs> But like, everyone knows about ball smell. It's, it's funny to me that they attacked women's smell first because ball smell has been around forever. Even before I knew what balls were, I knew what ball smell was. Like I knew balls smelled. And so did you, think about it. You're a kid, right? And you walk into a room that smells a little weird. You turn to your friend and you're like, it smells like balls in here, right? Like that's... <laughs> that's a phrase that was based on your balls to convey a generic funk smell. <laughs> like it's been around, your grandma could be like, smells like balls in here. You'd be like, that's absolutely right, grandma. Like that's a normal thing for you to say right now because it does smell like balls in here. Like I think Chaucer wrote it. That's been around forever, so. 
I was having sex recently with uh, my boyfriend, and I, I hate saying boyfriend because it's not like boyfriend. <laughs> I hate it. My ex, my future ex fiance, and I were. Uh, <laughs> We can get there, and uh, no, we were doing it uh, recently, and uh, he said the funniest thing. And this is how I know he watches porn a lot, because out of nowhere, he just goes, what would you do for this dick? <laughs> great question. I was like, <laughs> love it. <laughs> so are you Terry Gross? This is amazing. <laughs> what would you do for this dick? He doesn't talk like that either, by the way. Like, <laughs> Like, what you, why do you sound like Batman right now? It's just like, what, what would you do for this dick? And I was like, I didn't know your dick was a Klondike bar. Let's start there. Like, I don't have a plan. I was like, I'd do a silly dance? And he's like, please stop. It's going down. I was like, okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. He asked it at the wrong time. You should ask that question before you have sex. Right, like, what would you do for this dick? He's like across the room, he's just dangling it, and I'm just like, anything, anything! Like, that's, <laughs> that's the way I'm just like, <laughs> that's how I get! <laughs> Real dick hungry, but I just, <laughs> he asked it while I had it. He's like, what would you do for this dick? I was like, whatever I did 10 minutes ago, that seemed to work. <laughs> Sit on your couch and eat Thai food. <laughs> mm, wait till Shark Tank is over. <laughs> like, there's not a lot of hurdles between me and yo dick, you know? Like, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I, I, I hope he asks me again because I just wasn't prepared, which he won't because I've done this joke, so. <laughs> but if he does, I, I would say, I, I, if he says, like, what would you do for this dick? I'd like press play and be like, I would walk 500 miles a night. Would, like, cause I would. I love it. <laughs> I do, I love, I love it. It's my best friend. Uh, so yeah, I just, uh, dicks are so fun to me. I like to compliment my guy's dick. Like I, I did that very early in our, on in our relationship. I, I complimented him and I, I learned that there's only so many things you can say to, about a dick that guys wanna hear. It's like two things. You can be like, oh, it's so big or like, Owie. Like, that's kind of it. Like, don't stray too far outside of that. But that's, that's hard because, like, sometimes they're not huge. Like, my boyfriend, not huge. Average. Perfectly average. I love it. It's wonderful, but it's average. And you can't celebrate that, that you know? You can't be like, oh, my God, it's so fucking expected. Like, oh, <laughs> yes. Fill me up with that adequate cock. Like, yeah, that's not good. So... So you lie, you lie, you know? Like you're in the moment, and we were in the moment, and I was just like, it's so big. And he was just like, oh, is it? <laughs> it's so big. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, we're looking at the same thing right now, come on. <laughs> so big. I'm like, can you just like suspend disbelief for like 15 seconds maybe? And think to yourself like, well, maybe she's only seen baby dicks. Like she worked in a nursery her whole life and never got a date, like maybe that's it. But he was like, don't lie. I'm like, okay, fine, I won't. And then I just stopped complimenting it all together because I was like, I can't say anything. But then I realized, oh wait, I can say it's perfect. That's what I'll say. Because that's not a lie, I think it's perfect. So I, now I say it's perfect. So if you've heard your dick is perfect, it's average or below average. So that's just the thing I want you to know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and your lady has found a loophole. Uh, <laughs> But I really, I don't care that much about dick size. I know it's a, it's a thing, but I don't know. If I love someone enough, I really don't care. And my friends are like, yeah, right. And I'm like, I really, I don't. And they're like, what if you had a micro penis? And I'm like, I don't know, there's other things. Like you can work around it, like you can cheat on him. You can um, <laughs> use toys. Uh, no, there's other things you can, you have your hands, you have your tongue. You know, at least you don't have a micro tongue, you know, celebrate that. If you have a micro penis, just be proud of your big tongue. Because if you had like a tiny little, uh, how gross would that be if a guy was like, hey baby, like a little gecko, but he just had a huge cock, but he's like, you'd be like, where's micro? I need him. Like that is so gross. So at least your tongue's cool, you know? I did get in trouble for lying. You shouldn't lie. 
Uh, and I know that he was, we, we talked about it a lot. My boyfriend was like, you know, don't lie. Like, girls don't know because they don't get compliments down there. So they, like, don't get it, what it feels like to be lied to. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd, we'd like some, you know. <laughs> and he was like, really? Like, what would, I, what would I even say? I don't know. Like, like, we're tight or whatever. He was like, really? I wouldn't even think to say that. That's crazy. That's... <laughs> I'm like, to me or girls in general, like, what's the vibe here? And he was like, no, babe, you're, you're perfect. And I was like, yes, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck you, okay, that's mine. He was like, owie. I'm like, enough. <laughs> New York, thank you so much for coming out tonight. You're so great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, thank you. Perfect. Thank you.